In this project, Carmen Space and Nikon SLM Solutions manufactured a liquid rocket engine and performed a hot fire test. During a hot fire test, the propellant of the engine gets ignited and builds up full thrust while it's held in place. It creates comparable loads and conditions, materials and components will encounter during a rocket launch. Since the rocket engine is held in place, sensors can be attached to the rocket engine and can create a lot of valuable data. One reason why we partner with projects like this is because we want to improve our SLM technology. With the data we generate in these and other projects, Nikon SLM solutions can deeply understand the needs of the markets and push the machines to the status our partners require. We're just venturing into a new space here at the moment. For Apollo missions, we're around $50,000 per kilogram to get into space. Nowadays, we're around two and a half to $1,000 per kilogram with, with targets to get to around $100 per kilogram. There's a number of factors for this. And additive manufacturing is playing a massive role. The ability to produce monolithic parts, reducing part count dramatically, which is enabling better performance of the rocket engines, more power, less failure modes. And the other benefit really from additive is, is that design freedom takes a lot of weight out and allows for full reusability. Being able to reuse your rocket means you can reduce cost. You can then amortize that rocket engine cost over multiple missions, therefore giving uh, a lower cost to get into orbit.